Hi everybody, it's Mary Ellen from Create With Me, and I'm back with the fourth video in the series on using your Stamparatus. And today we're going to talk about using the Stamparatus with your die cut. So let me go ahead and just get started. I'm going to take you right to my desk. And um, here we've got the Stamparatus, and I've got the Deluxe Mat. I like to do a little bit of review. The Stamparatus comes with two plates. I'm using a stamp set today called Shark Frenzy. Shark Frenzy is in the January to June mini catalog, um, 2021. Okay, 2021. So what I've done is um, th there's some benefits to using this. So let me pull this piece out right here. I have die cut out of a black sheet of paper. You could use whatever, white, it doesn't matter. Um, I did this so you could see the two images that I'm going to use, and I'm going to use um, it on the daddy shark and the baby shark. So I die cut them over here because you can, if you've watched the other videos, you know that I like to stay away from the hinges. It avoids any problems. The benefit of doing this is I don't have to stamp first, take this to my, my machine, die cut it. I can stay at my machine. I can use my machine and put my die cuts where I need them, utilizing them in a very efficient way. So I've used this piece of paper, I've die cut all my images, and then I'm left with um, a, a bunch that look like this. And you're gonna be like, you know, normally if I was gonna try to stamp on those, what a nightmare that would be. But because I have my Stamparatus, I can pop those in right here. And this one right here, and I realized I didn't when I was die cutting that. You just have your die. I didn't know that was upside down, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. So um, I've positioned the first two stamps, and then I'm going to position the second ones in the video. So I've pre-positioned these so that they um, will go right in there. And I'm going to tell you when you are. Um, maybe I should just show you this. When you have it. Um, I'll put my magnet there. When you have your paper up in the corner, it's really easy to drop those stamps right into that image. They just fit right into there. Now they're going to they're gonna stick because I'm using my deluxe mat. So I should have told you that first. So we'll go ahead and pop these die cuts back in. It's just like doing a jigsaw puzzle, um, but with stamping. So there you go. I'm going to start with my basic gray, and I'm going to ink with my... Um, spot here in basic gray I might be changing that well let's give it let's give it a try and then I'm going to ink baby shark in basic gray and then I'm going to stamp just like that pressing down now, you're probably going to pop your images out. That's okay. It doesn't matter. We're going to go back in that spot, pop these back in, lay this down. Now, if I had my second magnet right here, I can hold that down. I'm going to pop those back in, okay, just like so. Then I'm going to take the um, other parts of the stamp that uh, here is the line image and then here is the shading. And I'm going to um, position that on to my stamped die cut exactly where I want it. This little fella's upside down, but that's okay. You're going to get my head. I know you're, my head's going to be in the camera, but it's the only way I can get it perfectly positioned. Like I said in the last video, you only have to do this once. Now, my choice is I can either use this other plate here, but I'm going to go ahead and use this top plate and put the stamps on. I'm probably going to bring the um, image up with me, but that's okay. I'll just take them off. I'm going to pop them in here. And then I'm going to use Smoky Slate and this nice light gray. And I'm going to um, move my case under here and ink up this part of the stamp, the shading. Okay, and then I'm going to stamp them right here on the daddy and the baby. Peel them off, and there I've got my perfectly stamped. I can go ahead and pop in my next one. I don't have to think about it. If I'm making a bunch of these, I can just pop that in, pull these off, ink, 
stamp, ink, stamp, and then I've, I've just got multiples. So that's a great way of using it efficiently with your die cuts. I'm going to put you back at my face. I'm going to give you the code for the Stamparatus and my shopping site, createwithme.stampinup.net. One thing I failed to mention in the um, previous videos, and I want to take a minute to mention it now, is that if you're purchasing a stamp Stamparatus at this time during January and February of 2021, you can also, um, you'll also be earning a free celebration item. So out of the celebration catalog, for every $50 that you spend, you get to pick, pick out something free. And so make sure that when you're purchasing that you don't lose that reward. Go on, get your free stamp set, your free paper, um, whatever you choose. And um, now is the great time to purchase a Stamparatus. So thank you and join me next time. I have one more video and it's going to be, um, no, I have two more videos. One's going to be on reverse stamping and one's going to be on building a scene. So until next time, bye.